um, I think I think this is we, we think this is quite important. It's that um, we've been through a period where commodities have tended to move in line with most other assets, and uh, you know, very high degrees of correlation between commodities and uh, other asset classes. And what we think is happening now is that we're starting to see signs of commodities breaking away. Um, you know, the risk on risk off trading um, patterns have started to, to ease a bit. Um, we're seeing, starting to see more diversity in terms of price behaviour. So, you know, over the over, over the last three or four years, it tends to be the case that if oil's going up, then copper's probably going up as well, and, and gold is too. And if they're going down, they're probably going down together. Whereas well, clearly now, you know, you can see oil prices going up, gold prices going down, and you know, copper and agricultural commodities markets doing quite different things. So, I think that's what we're what we're talking about here. It's the return of commodity risk, specifically commodity risk. So. The drivers of commodities over the last three or four years have been the big macroeconomic and financial crises, and what we're expecting to see over the next three or four years is this, the drivers start to become much more to do with the, uh, the specifics, the supply and demand fundamentals of different markets. Sentiment is very, very weak. So investors, uh, hedge funds, institutional investors, they're not interested in commodities at the moment. There are better opportunities elsewhere. We think, we think the sell-off's overdone. We do think there's going to be a, a, an economic recovery over the second half of this year. So we're looking for a mild recovery in prices. Nothing incredibly dramatic, but a mild recovery in prices, probably, probably led by the base metals, because they've been the ones that have been actually fairly aggressively shorted over the last few months or so. Um, oil prices moving back up into the sort of range they were trading in at the beginning of this year, sort of between 110 and 114 dollars a barrel for Brent. Probably more downside for gold and silver. Where we are now with commodities underperforming equities as, 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 as much as they have recently, a lot of people are attributing that to, um, to big structural changes in commodities markets. So China changing its type of growth model to a much more consumption-led growth model. The idea being there that it'll need fewer commodities, and also that a lot of the supply constraints that we saw developing in the last decade have now sort of eased or gone away. Now, you know, this is kind of like the, the end of the super cycle type um, theory. We think, yes, China is changing, but this is going to mean different things for different commodities. And we did a big, big piece of research looking at uh, the, the potential changes in Chinese commodity demand. Um, if we do move to a more consumption-oriented type of uh, growth. Uh, in actual fact, it will be quite positive for some commodities. So, um, yes, it's true that the commodities that are used in heavy uh, industrial infrastructure investment, things like steel, zinc and copper, their intensity of use probably will decline over the next uh, four or five years. Um, but there will be lots of other commodities that do pretty well out of this process. Then the other thing is about the supply growth. Um, as I said, you know, there's plenty of evidence at the moment that supply growth is surging. It might, leap, it might, might, might seem to support this notion that the, uh, the, the, the constraints are, are over now. But actually, when we look at the, few, the next three years supply growth for various different commodities and compare it with what happened over the last three years, then we find actually that there are very few commodities where supply will continue to grow fast. In fact, for most, it will slow down. And for some, the ones at the bottom of this table, supply could actually decline over the next few years or so. In my opinion, uh, many in the commodities business and the, the, the industry generally are confusing um, the cyclical and the structural. So I think the explanation for why commodities have been fairly poor recently is much more to do with that stage of the business cycle that we're at than it is to do with long-term structural changes in commodities.